Hi, I am Nishan Singh. I joined Ayuka in the year 2019 and uh, uh, primarily uh, focus of my research together with uh, many collaborators and students is to understand the origin of uh, cosmic magnetic fields and uh, lately uh, uh, focus has shifted to studying the sun. Uh, in particular, uh, uh, we use uh, the uh, naturally occurring uh, sound waves like uh, in this case surface gravity modes which have the same properties or same dispersion relation that we see on the ocean. In some simpler terms, one can understand it in terms of say musical instrument like tabla where uh, there are uh, uh, waves that are there on the membrane and that we hear uh, and if you imagine dipping the tabla in water or uh, drying it too much, you can notice the difference in the sound. Similarly, various phenomena that occur in uh, the sun such as uh, the evolution of magnetic fields, they also perturb the uh, sound waves or the gravity waves, surface gravity waves in somewhat similar manners. By looking at the differences on these waves, one can infer some properties of the sun. One major uh, uh, development that happened uh, in this uh, area was uh, that the magnetic fields perturbed significantly the F mode even before we could detect them uh, in terms of the sunspots. So some of the enhancements that we saw in the surface gravity mode could act as precursor to the active region formation. This also potentially constrains the uh, so-called dynamo models of the sun, which are the underlying mechanisms producing the magnetic fields of the sun. So we are uh, uh, deeply involved in studying it further and uh, trying to build more statistics and build more theoretical models uh, with students and uh, uh, collaborators. One student in particular, uh, Kishore Gopalakrishnan, uh, has also extended this study to uh, uh, look at these modes uh, in convection simulations. So, uh, where we again see that uh, when there are subsurface magnetic fields which are not yet detectable by uh, people outside, uh, they significantly perturb the F mode and therefore can act as precursor. So, this is one area and one of the uh, key challenging problem uh, is to understand the nature of convection itself in light of some recent data where the conventional understanding of convection uh, does not seem to agree with what we have seen from the data so far. So there is a lot of scope in uh, just uh, studying the sun because uh, given the amount of data one can verify these theoretical models, one can uh, make better uh, numerical models and uh, theoretical models to uh, advance our understanding of uh, phenomena such as uh, convection which is uh, uh, driving uh, not only the magnetic fields uh, but also these waves and uh, make the stars rotate differentially. So this is like, uh, really the central piece uh, for stars and sun.